this drawing we've been given an auxiliary view of a hexagonal based pyramid and for this view they've also given us two cutting planes watch one which goes vertically down and through the drawing okay like that which they've asked us to go and use to draw a sectional left view and then the other cutting plane goes through the base and on that cutting plane they've asked us to go and draw a sectional top view um, they've given it labels of cutting plane BB and cutting plane AA and we're going to use those two cutting planes to now go and do a sectional top view and of course a sectional left view in first angle orthographic uh, the video will be in two parts we're going to cover the sectional top view first and then the sectional left view and as per usual we're always going to make sure we start by labeling our shape and we are going to label in the view where we can see the true shape which is here in the auxiliary view and I'm just going to label clockwise each of the corners first and then of course I'm also going to label the apex okay so we've got our labels in and then we have to transfer our labeling from our auxiliary view into our given front view so the apex first and then each of our base labels so because this view is flopped over this XY line that we've been given we know that we're going to see point 2 first and then 1 so this will be labeled as 2 comma 1 this one will be labeled as 3 comma 6 and then this one as 4 comma 5 okay now the labeling is complete we need to go and take our front view and project it down into our top view and of course we are going to project all of the corners into our top view now we are doing a sectional top view but we're going to draw the top view without cutting it first that always makes it a bit easier to be able to then go and do the cutting okay and then of course to get our width measurements over here we always go one XY line back and we take our measurements from the XY line to each of the points we measure those and then transfer them over our XY line into the view that we need so starting with our apex over there I'm going to measure from the XY line to that apex which is 45 millimeters and then I'm going to go from my X1 Y1 line and I'm going to measure 45 millimeters over there I'm going to mark that and I'm going to label it and then I'm going to do the same with all of my other points one by one so point one is 25 millimeters that's also in line with point five so we can do both point one will be on that line it's 25 millimeters away from my XY line mark that and I'm going to label it and then I know that point five is directly in line with that so I can line that up mark it label it and then do the same for point six. Point six is five millimeters away from my xy line find point six here bring that down and measure five millimeters down from my xy mark it and label it i'm just going to change those labels pin so it be nicely visible okay and then we're going to do the same thing with point 3 measure from the XY line to point 385 and then take on point 3's line go and mark that off 
There's 85 on that line. Mark that and label it. Okay, so we've got two more points to go, and that's of course point two and point four. So measure from the XY line to point four sixty five and then go and take that cross and down and so what we say to sixty five and then we're gonna take that measurement from the XY line down to that point, mark it off and then we know that point 2 is directly across it so it will be the same measurement so we can just project that across to mark point 2 and then we're going to label both of those so that would be 2 and that's 4 ok, so we have each of our, our points and now what we're going to do is just go in construction and we're going to go and draw that shape out uh, as if it wasn't cut so we're going to draw all of our lines in first of all all of our corners of course we'll have to go to the apex Okay, and then once we've done that, we're also going to do the sides of the base. We're going to draw those all in. We're not worrying about it in detail at the moment. We just want to get all of the lines of our top here in. So that we can then go and do the cutting. Okay, there we go. So that's our top view now complete without it being cut and now we're going to go and cut it and to do that we're going to take each of the cutting points of cutting plane VB and we're going to project those down into our top view. Uh, first we're going to note which lines they cut so if you have a look here that point over there that cutting point it cuts into line A2 and line A1 note that it cuts at two places into line 2, A2 and line A1 so if I take that line and project it down into my top view I'm going to go and follow it until I can see where it's going to hit into line A1 there's A1 and where it intersects with line A2 there's A2 and I'm going to mark those two points clearly so that I know that those are my first two cutting points okay then we're going to go along our line our cutting line to the next point where it cuts the shape which is there and that cuts line A3 and line A6 so we're going to take that we're going to project it into our top view and then we're going to follow it down until it hits A6 we'll mark that and until it hits A3 We'll follow that down and mark that as well. Okay, then follow our line across over here. There's the next point where it cuts. Now this one's a bit more tricky because it cuts the base. Okay, so note that it's cutting a baseline. It's cutting both line 6, 5 and line 3, 4. Okay, and if you're confused by that, you can take that cutting point B and you can actually project it into your auxiliary view to show that it cuts line 6, 5 and it cuts line 3, 4. Okay, it cuts line 3, 4 over there and line 6, 5 over here. doesn't cut line A5 or A4. You can clearly see it here. There's line A4 and A5. That point is nowhere near it. So it only cuts into the base at 5, 6 and at 3, 4. So we're going to take that point and we're going to project it down into our top view. Okay, and where it hits line 6, 5, we're going to mark it. And where it hits line 3, 4, we're going to mark it. Okay, and then our next step is to go and draw in our complete cutting plane. And to do that, we're just going to play dot to dot. We're going to go from 
cutting, pla cutting points we started with. I'm going to join them up to the next cutting point we found and then through to the next one. We can draw these as dark lines because we know that we're going to see the entire cutting plane in this view. So we can draw those in nice and dark. Okay, so there's our cutting plane, all nice and complete. Now, of course, the one thing we have to go and check now is what are we still going to be able to see? What's actually been left over? Okay, what are we still going to have to draw in? And if we have a look at our cutting plane over here, for this view, we're going to be looking from the top. So this top part over here has been cut off. I put a set square over it. Okay, anything under that set square there has now been cut off. So we're not going to draw that in. So we know that point A is still there, the apex. And every, point, every line from A until their cutting points will still be visible. So we can go and draw those all in. We know that we're going to see that line there until it hits into its cutting point. We know we're going to be able to see this line over here until it hits into our cutting point. Okay, and then from our top view, the other lines we would normally be able to see is A1 and A2. Okay, so A1 over here would have been from A to 1 there, but of course it gets cut off over there. So we're just going to draw it dark until it's cut off point. And then the same thing with A2. It would get cut off over here. So we're just going to draw it in up to there. Okay, and then we got to check with regards to the base. You can see that point 1, 2 is gone. 0.36 is gone, but 4 and 5 are still there. Okay, they're below my set square, so 4 and 5 are still going to be there, still visible. They haven't been cut off. And then, of course, the extended lines need to be drawn until they hit into their cutting points. So we'll have a line over there. And we'll have a line over here. And just be careful, you're not going to draw in lines to 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 because 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 have been cut off completely. Okay, so that's our complete shape for the top view. And then, of course, the last thing we have to do, as always, is we need to go and draw in our catching lines. And it's quite a big surface. So we're going to make sure that we use decent sized gaps so we don't waste time with that. And this question hasn't said anything about having to include all hidden detail. So for this view, we're not going to draw in any of the hidden detail. We're just going to leave it with solid lines. And once this hatching is complete, we'll have a complete sectional top view. Here's our sectional top view complete. Next video we'll do the sectional left.